Oh, okay, it's just stage. Yeah, uh, I, I think the voice acting is fine in this game overall, but Tails is kind of bad though, admittedly. But to be fair, it was an actual kid doing the voice, so I don't harp on it too much because of that. I must have got lost in the mines. Looking for the Master Emerald pieces was tougher than I thought it would be. Where are we anyway? Hey, where are you going? <laughs> that, that looks so weird. Yeah, you can clearly tell he's right, reading off a script. Too bad. Now, these are two... Well, there's another stage like this, but... These are two very unique stages in the game. And, I mean... There, there are only two of these, which... Makes them kind of random in a sense, but... I mean, there's also... Uh, multiplayer specific stages for these so I, I still think uh, you get you're getting your money's uh, worth of this as well like they these stages on the main they're no like Mario Kart or All-Stars Racing or even like Sonic Riders or anything like that but they're short they're short enough and but l long enough they're, they're like short enough to be like not to not drag on but they're long enough to be worthwhile and you have a pretty good sense of speed here. Um, the the only real issue is the fact that drifting is the same button as accelerating, but it's not too bad once you get the hang of things. And um, yeah, there's not too much to these stages, but they're a fun little distraction. And I mean, there are again there are the mini multiplayer uh, like. Uh, racing stages as well so you know I guess in a sense you could say this game has four play styles but you know this isn't really a major gameplay style it's more of an added bonus if you will which is what Biggs fishing in SA1 should have been Ugh. oh well I'm not gonna harp on that because it's already been said to death how much that gameplay style is like just it's just bad either way though the music's pretty nice as well I will say though these mission the okay well I guess I'll just talk about this I guess um, basically you know how SA1 had it so if you played a stage again you had to get like 50 rings or like be in a certain time limit or something like that this game basically has it so there are five missions in each stage the first one is regular, just beat the game, or oh, beat the game, beat the, just beat the game, uh, beat the stage, get to the goal ring and all that. Second one is 100 rings. Third one is find the chariot, which really makes, uh, you, makes you learn the ins and outs of the level design. And those are some of my favorite missions to play, just to explore the levels and all that. Um, fourth one is a time limit. And fifth one is a hard mode, which is my favorite out of the bunch because it actually kind of feels like their own. Le it actually, they actually make them feel like original levels in a sense. I might do those as like a as a extra thing or something after the after the main story, but uh, I'll figure that out later, I guess. But I, they are really cool stages, like the hard mode runs, and they. I think. Like, it's this game that started that trend, like, hard mode sta uh, versions of stages. Kart racing with free courses is now available. Yeah, now we can do that. M multiplayer gets unlocked after the second kart racing stage. Reports show that since the incident three hours ago, the country is in turmoil. Our financial communities are impacted, and our satellite communications are down. An emergency meeting has been called. Mr. President, this is a national crisis. Oh, no. I sound so, like... Dread, I, I sound like, exactly I don't even know. Is it that you want? 
I sound so terrified. <laughs> Just trying to look at all those documents on that laptop there. I love the little lag on that. Otherwise, your country will cease to exist. You have 24 hours to give me your answer. No way! Yeah, no way! Blue Spheres minigame! You want? You little! No, the one in the one behind you. I don't know. I saw that bat girl go inside with him as well. Well, you saw them too, right? Yeah. Should be able to get it out of space from there. I don't know what this space colony is all about, but I'll find and destroy that camp and then kick their imperial butt. All right. I'll go and find the entrance. Yeah, the thing with this game is that um, Tails is kind of shoehorned in and like. You can really tell that, tell that with the story here, like, it's like, I'll go find the entrance, I'll distract the police and stuff like that. Like, I do like Tails' levels, but they're probably my least favourite in the entire game, like, the, the, the least fleshed out, um, overall. And you can tell that it, he was like a last minute addition. I do think these stages are well, good enough to, like, to, uh, like, was it to warrant him like being in the game and all that and um you know with the whole like tell like rivalry the battle going on like you know sonic adventure 2 battle like the whole uh tile of the gamecube version like the uh thing with um thing with that is that basically you have okay that was a fail <laughs> Um, you have um, Tails and Eggman, which both have mercs, you have Sonic and Shadow, and you have Knuckles and Rouge. And I do like that, because it kind of, uh, throughout the game, it builds, the characters all build up their own rivalries with each other. And, like, I get what they were trying to do, like, because it wouldn't really make sense for Tails to be flying normally in this game because of that. Um, I, I understand people miss that gameplay, but... Um, really, I think that I like tells this gameplay and SA1 is, is fine, like it, it's enjoyable, but it's um, I think the main problem with it is an SA, SA1 is that it was using just using all of Sonic's stages and it wasn't used to its full potential. And it would, it would be nice to play like that again as Tails at some point, but you know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I, I don't... From what we've uh, been told, I highly doubt Tails is going to be playable in Forces, but we'll see. Uh, it gives you an uh, idea of when this game was recorded, I guess. Speaking of which, I'm actually like starting to just go na like crazy re recording now. Like I, I literally just finished recording the rest of Crash Free, and um, I went to have dinner, uh, took it easy for a little, for a few minutes, for like 10 minutes or so, and then I went going straight to SA2, man. Go get those recordings done. But yeah. Oh okay, that was close. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for extra videos, though. I'm going to I'm probably gonna show off the um, Chara Garden a little, a little bit, and you know, like, and maybe the hard mode. I'm not sure what else. 
I might show off all the power-up locations, but either way, I'll, I'll figure it out. And let, unless you guys like, want to want to see something very specific, um, then I'll do that. Like, she wants to... I'm not gonna... <laughs> if she said, guys, say, get all the emblems. Yeah, I'm not doing that, because otherwise we'll be here all... all Oh yeah. <laughs> or maybe not that long. I can do it. I can do it, but we'll just be here for a while. But yeah, I might like if you want to see like all the final cherry missions or something like that. I can do that. But you know. Okay, Pyramid Cave. And notice how there's like no cutscene here, so. I guess originally I was just gonna get straight to this. And this is one of my favorite levels in the game. Oh, well, well, yeah, I guess I can. S well, favorite speed stages, I guess, is a better way to say it. Like, it has a really. some really cool level design ideas. Like, you have this stuff, like, here where. Um, we wanna go through the hoops. And, um. I can't even get that. Alright. And you have these hourglasses, which this level this level uses them pretty well, but the level coming up, not so much, admittedly. It's my least favorite stage in the game by a long shot. Yep, it's worse. I think it's worse than Mad Space. I don't nowadays. I I used to think Mad Space sucked, just like any other guy, but. Nowadays, I like, after playing this game over and over again, I don't think Mad Space is that bad. Honestly, I think it's kind of fun. Like it's, it's not like amazing. Like it's still, like, like just from a general standpoint, it's one of the worst levels in the game for sure. But I don't think it's like as bad as people make it out to be, personally. But yeah, I think the stage has a. Really good amount of like platforming speed and just like you know I I really do like this level and the music kicks so like it's just so awesome and you have these like gamma robots which are some of the most difficult and some of the more difficult enemies to avoid that's another thing like the enemies are a lot more diverse in this game than SA1. Like, you had your bad mix in SA1, and that was pretty much it. Um, this game, you had your gun mix, you have Eggman's bad mix, you have the... Well, you'll, you'll see. I don't want to make any... bring up any spoilers yet, but, you know, you have a good amount of enemy, enemy variety here. You have the ghosts as well, which probably some of the more annoying enemies, admittedly, but, you know... Speed through. Yeah. Yep. Time score bonus because we ran out uh, before they closed on us, so that's cool. Alright. Dang it. Secret! Because this game has those! <laughs> oh dear. I feel like I'm gonna feel like a broken record. I can't stress it enough. I love this game. I think it's one of the best games in the series. Uh, definitely my favorite Dreamcast era game. Like I think it's a lot more fleshed out than SA One and more enjoyable than SA One as well. Heroes and like might have the better overall gameplay style, but as a package, SA Two is just a lot more. It's just a lot better in my opinion, because you don't have to play the same game four times or anything like that. And 
hundred percenting it is actually kind of kind of a blast as well. I actually really enjoy doing the extra stuff. And here we go. This is the worst stage in the game, at least in my opinion. Like, I, music's pretty good. Like death chamber, death chamber, death chamber, <laughs> and all that. But I honestly don't like this stage too much. Like the hints are the least help helpful in this stage. Like they could, they half the time they can be referring to multiple different areas. Like four pillars. It could be referring to this. Or it could be re referring to the main middle room. Or it could be re referring to like... Oh no, I can't be referring to this because there's more than four pillars, but... It could be referring to so many different things. And that's the problem with these hints. And it's just... It takes so... Uh, it takes uh, the longest to traverse through this level than it does with any other uh, Knuckles or treasure hunting stage in general. And, um... Yeah. Oh, it's talking about this, I guess. Alright. And we're looking for keys instead of emerald pieces. So, it's not really a different thing. Like, it's basically just the same kind of deal, just a different item. I mean, I don't hate this level necessarily, but I think it's the worst design stage. Like, it doesn't really work around Knuckles' gameplay. Um, like, he's it's too closed in for Knuckles, and, um, yeah, just, to, getting, going through all the areas just takes too, too long, overall. Like, it's not a problem with it, of it being too big, it's more of a problem of it being closed in. If it was, like, open, and it didn't have, like, all these walls blocking, blocking areas and all that, it will be fine, but the fact that it's all closed in makes it much more of a hassle than it needs to be. To be honest, like the dark, uh, the dark side counterpart of this stage is a lot better. Pers personally speaking, I think it's a lot more fun to play. All right, just to make sure you don't have the emerald, the key, right? I mean, that's one thing I guess you, we could bring up. Uh, I could bring up anyway is that the emerald pieces or well, the raider in this game only blinks for one at a time and while it's definitely not as like the radar isn't as good as SA1 for sure like it doesn't do as many it doesn't do all three at once and it doesn't have um like more as many like blinking options or whatever you want to call it um but I think like having one at a time kind of helps the game a little bit because it makes the hints makes it so when you read a hint you know what one what key or what emerald piece is talking about. So you don't need to worry about that. If it talked about if it had all three blinking at once, it could potentially confuse the player. So I I I I I've heard from heard uh, from Nick and Uncle Magna that the um what was it. The uh, the radar was changed because it wanted to they wanted to make the multiplayer more competitive or whatever, and that's fine. But in the ground, okay. <laughs> I guess I'll look down here. But that's fine. But it would have would have been better if they just kept the radar the same or whatever. Like it, it, the my main issue is just like oh we're trying again a bleep. Um, my ma main major issue is just the fact that, um... Okay, Eggman- yeah, Eggman's face and in the ground. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Flying, f flying fish swimming in the sand. Uh... Hmm. Not sure about this one. But, um... Oh, what was it? What was I saying? Like, no, no, no. My main issue with the with the radar has always just been the fact that it doesn't have as many bleeps as the one in SA1, and it makes it a lot easier for you to get confused. Like, you could have like an area, look around an area, and it have it, and have it be bleeping yellow, and it will just confuse you to no end. Like, it doesn't necessarily have less like 
like, um, it doesn't necessarily, like, go, not go as far as the one in SA1. It's just the fact that it doesn't have as many colours, as you will. And it gives you that illusion that it doesn't have as many. Alright. Nope. Yeah. You see why I don't like this level? Okay. Okay. I don't care if I get a D, I'm gonna use another hint. Yeah, you see what I mean? Okay, whatever, I'm using a third one. <laughs> I don't wanna be here all day. Secret room that you can enter from the area next to the blue room. Okay. So, this? Okay. I've never seen that... I've never seen that key before. Like, apparently there's like a hundred different um, locations they can be. Which is kind of crazy. Are you serious? I actually- I thought I did terrible! I guess they knew that stage sucked. Okay, that sucked is a bit of a strong word, but... Man, like, I used three hints! I still got an A! <laughs> wow. And I took, like, six minutes. Ghost. I love the original re reading of the, that line, it's like, What the? A ghost?! Or something like that, it's amazing. I'll have it playing. I'll, I'll put it on here. What? A ghost? Just for you to hear it. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, so you just wait for him to breathe his blue flames. Hit this little ghost for the hourglass to turn over. And you have to dig him out. Now, you can actually do this in one in one run, if you do it right, like him, he's gonna, he's gonna run, just do that. Dang it, I messed up. No, 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 no. Let me do that again. <laughs> you wanna wait until he stops blinking red, because he's invulnerable when he does that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is my least favorite boss in the game just because it just kind of requires a lot of waiting and it's not too thrilling it does feel good to get to a uh, game in one go though or multiple uh multiple hits in a row i've never done him in one hit killed him in one go i've done up to three hits in one run though all right cool that's good enough. Maybe I can do it in two rows. In two session. Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm stumbling on my words. Sanic. Knuckle speed. Alright. Oh, so you go too far. <laughs> Excuse me. He just changed his direction and goes like. Boop, boop. So, <laughs> and now, hopefully, you're done. Yes, eat it. <laughs> 